Dalam pernyataan pers, Presiden Joe Biden menyatakan bisa memahami keresahan rakyat AS akibat lonjakan harga bahan bakar dan makanan. Tapi ia kembali mengingatkan keduanya adalah akibat serangan Rusia di bawah Vladimir Putin terhadap Ukraina. We cut off Russian oil into the United States and our partners in Europe did the same, knowing that we would see higher gas prices. We could have turned a blind eye to Putin's murderous ways. The price of gas wouldn't have spiked the way it has. I believe that would have been wrong. Biden mendesak Kongres menangguhkan pajak bensin federal dan pemerintah negara bagian untuk melakukan hal serupa di tingkat lokal. Oposisi dari Partai Republik menolak seruan ini. What the administration of course is coming up with is yet another gimmick, uh, another band-aid and something they know is dead on arrival up here in Congress. Sebagian analis setuju karena penurunan harga belasan sen per galon dinilai tak akan signifikan meringankan beban konsumen. Yet another gimmick uh, being offered by a president who is clearly out of his depths when it comes to addressing the long-term structural imbalance between supply and demand in the energy markets. This is just one of a number of gimmicks. We've had numerous releases of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Tapi analis lain memahami betapa sulitnya posisi AS. Obviously the increase in gas, gas prices is uh, you know poses a substantial problem especially for people on a fixed income or people who are lower income. So that is a that is that's a big hit on their household budget. However, the the average American consumer is in a really good position to actually weather this storm. We have historically high savings of money that people simply didn't spend during the pandemic. And also just to put it into perspective, Um, at least we don't have foreign troops and tanks rolling down the street. If you know Ukrainians are paying for for this war in blood, and we're paying higher prices at the pump. Pada akhir Juni, Presiden Biden akan bertemu dengan pemimpin negara-negara sekutu pertama dalam KTT negara-negara G7 di Jerman, lalu KTT NATO di Spanyol. Seperti pemerintah AS di bawah Biden, pemerintah negara-negara sekutu ini juga menghadapi resistensi di dalam negeri. karena tingginya harga minyak antara lain akibat sanksi ekonomi terhadap Rusia. Sebuah pil pahit guna menekan Rusia menghentikan serangannya. Well, how do you can keep support for a war? How do you um, keep al- allied publics on board as the war goes on and people are starting to feel it in different ways and feel it in their pocketbooks? That That's a big challenge for NATO and the United States. Saat awal konflik mayoritas rakyat AS dalam berbagai survei rela menerima kenaikan harga bensin demi membela Ukraina dari Rusia. Tapi dengan berlanjutnya konflik memasuki bulan kelima, kesabaran konsumen AS terus diuji. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.